All right, welcome back, guys. Um, let's go ahead and oh, we are almost leveled up. Yeah, loot spam. New stats, always vitality. New skill, damage plus six. Also, raising golem mastery is also important. I think we'll get skeletal mastery up to five first, though. It gives them a little damage bonus. Need Iron Maiden Curse, a Dario will spank you. Curses, Iron Maiden. Cause themselves, damage themselves when damaging others. We'll get those curses eventually. Those are deep curses. We'll get over there at some point. Eventually. Uh, we're gonna be going uh, Corpse Explosion, not Bone Curse. I mean, Bone Spear. Bone Spear kind of requires a lot of investment into the bone tree to get it to be good. We're going like full summon mancer. Resist fire shrine, yay. Now I can light a lighter and not feel worry about burning my thumb. Uh, basically, all the curses are really good at just one point, so you just put one point in all of them. You don't really need to invest more than one point. Scroll of Town Portal. Preserved Head. Dim Vision, Skeletal Mastery. Hmm. Definitely getting there. Yeah, Corpse Explosion, I believe, when you level it up, it increases its damage and also its radius, which can be really huge when you max it out. I believe it increases the percent of health that it damages stuff. That's what I mean, is it increases the modifier, therefore the damage. Instead of it being 180% of the HP, it's then 200, then 220, and then 230, which increases the HP, the damage. I, need I know I need mana. Always need manas. Chip skull. Light radius is best build. It would be cool if they somehow built a build where your light does damage and then the brighter your light radius, the more damage you're doing. Become like a beacon of light that just comes through and destroys everything. Uh, no, my character is not dumb enough to shove a uh, stone up in my skull if I find one. Hopefully. Uh, we're not using any mods for this because it doesn't need any. The remastered fixed all the stuff that needed to be fixed. We're just playing the vanilla game again, or something like vanilla. Uh, 
I don't believe the the Canon Witch character was. Uh, I don't think they ever established canon of which character is the canon hero to defeat Diablo. In the second game. The first game was the warrior, but the second game, I don't think they had a canon, a canon person that uh, defeated Diablo in the second game. Kind of leave it open. I can just say like when they defeated or the great hero defeated. They never like specify one or the other, or they imply it was a group of people. Who knows? Yeah, I'm doing a SSF run, solo self found, and we're on normal. It, we're, it, it won't matter too much our gear, especially with Necromancer. Pretty sure it's the power of friendship, yes. Let's go back down here. Low quality preserved head. What makes it low quality? They love that death sound. Ah, eh, ah. Gotta have a little fan service. going. Maybe we'll go this way. About to level again, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, that ambient music is very, very good. Holds up very well. Skill. Let me we go amplify damage. Just to have a way to like boost damage on people. Uh oh. Treehead Wood Fist. That is a goddamn name. Damn. That is a name. I respect it. Name has some power behind it. Treehead Wood Fist. Nice. This is so good. The order welcomes you. Don't sell for as much as I thought it would. Oh well. Why do I have that? <laughs> Nope. I just want money, really. I'll just take all the monies. Thank you. Um, let's see if. Let's see what wand she has. Maybe she has something good. Dim vision, flee, durability, skeletal mastery, dim vision. Five mana, five mana stolen per hit. Two, raise skeleton. 
That means we get an extra one. Two to skeletal mastery. I'll take that one. Ooh, it sells for a lot. Damn. I'll take it. That means... Oh, preserved head. That one has... Two skeletal mastery and three to teeth. <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's a really good one. I need mana. I gotta resummon all of them. So they all get the stat bonus. So it's like I'm gonna need. Even higher to get another Skelly. <laughs> oh, we're playing offline because I have no reason to play online. I'm just playing through the story stuff. Oh, the tree! Click on the tree. This tree shines with inner spirits. <gasps> One, two. Take the scroll to Akara. Skull cap. Well, if we do that, we'll be able to go back and rescue Deckard Kane and get free item identification. Gonna be a great boon. Oh, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written. Pum, pum. All right, uh, let's see. So uh, Dan Huh is Decker Kane and Dan He is the Butcher, drawn by the one and only Julia. Plus five to mana, sure, why not? Deal with that. Oh god, not good memory. I'll have to try to remember that. As I'm pressing them. Are you planning on doing the cow level? There is no cow level. Talk about cow level. There is no cow level. Okay, definitely not that way. Somewhere over this way, I think. I missed the summoner for the stony fields. He doesn't know, I know. There's no cow level. That would be a spoiler. Oh my god. All that's left Tristram, we're back. Tristram. <gasps> ghosts and ashes. We were just here yesterday, Jet. What happened? Where's all my gold on the ground? Son of a bitch! We left thousands of gold on the ground. Ooh. 
Griswold, oh no. Griswold is dead. They got him. Hawk Helm. Poor Griswold. Even bring back the old music for this part. How'd you beat him so easily? Because Necromancer is very strong in the early game and on normal mode. Those minions are lovely. <gasps> Word spotty. Good, you scamming piece of shit. Yeah, give me my money back, you piece of garbage. He scammed me so many goddamn times. Word's leg, oh yeah. 50% damage to the undead. He was low to know, I paid him so much money. Lycanthropy. That one's bad. Do that. Ship <laughs> Ruby, nice. Oh, new skill. Iron made it. Cause the group enemies to damage themselves. I'll grab that later. I think I want more. Let's. Oh, skeletal mage. Let's go Vitality. Help! Deckard Kane, if you value your life, leave here immediately. Dun, 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 dun. I am overburdened. Put me back right now! I can rescue myself! I know, he was just out of there. He was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm getting leaving here. I know, he, he must use his own portal scroll because I didn't cast it. Go sell stuff. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. What? Diablo, the Lord of Terror has once again been set loose upon the world. <gasps> As you know, some time ago, Diablo was slain beneath Tristram. And when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. 
I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day, he simply left, and shortly thereafter, Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. <gasps> I can hear him, like, waking up in the middle of the night. Teleporting mages! Ah! Ah! Okay, no. They're dead. Okay. We're fine. Good day. You have risked your life to rescue Cain. For that, we thank you. You must seek his counsel immediately. Thank you. Oh, she gave me a ring of craftsmanship. Plus one maximum damage. Ugh. Plus one. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I will sell all the rest. Put the leg in the box and we'll keep it there for later. All right, let's go back. Light crossbow. We cleared this camp very easily. We just like slaughtered everything with ease. Necromancer strong, baby. Very strong. I like that the Necromancer starts strong and stays strong throughout the whole game. Some classes don't have that luxury. They start kind of weak and then get strong later. Uh, let's see, quest. Um, beyond the dark wood. So we're gonna go back to the dark wood. Uh, sorcerer is also very strong, yeah. But early game sorcerers, you're gonna be just mana pushing, mana pushing, mana pushing, mana pushing, mana pushing, mana pushing, mana pushing. The uh, Necromancer is very mana efficient early on because he just summons his minions and then, you know, casts a curse once in a while and you're good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to the Darkwood. I haven't done much druid. Your druid's fun. Yeah, Chain Lightning. Rage Rain and Chad, if you love Mr. Chain Lightning, your best friends. Ooh, rare Ring. I'll just be looting. You guys kill everything for me. Thank you. <laughs> no, oops. You're going to see last people play this game because Diablo 4 is coming out. So everyone's going to be replaying all the old games just to refresh in the story and stuff. And April's kind of dry on games until the end of the month, so there's not much to play right now. A lot of people are playing older stuff. That way.
hard leather armor. Probably not worth it. Uh, we're just playing normal in each of the games just to get the story of lines. But there's going to be some games coming out later this month that I want to play. Like uh, Jedi Survivor. I think there's a few others too. Maze a lot busier with Redfall and a couple others. Still have identify. Are you ever gonna play Everspace 2? What's Everspace 2? Is it like a space game? Simulation potion. I don't even know whatever space is, let alone two. The hole. Let's go into the hole. Fulminating potion. <laughs> yeah, we're just going into the hole to get some loot. It's a spaceship shooter game. Is it an RPG or action game or dogfighting game? New Horizon DLC? Eh, maybe. Um, I thought Horizon Forbidden West was one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. But not the most exciting to play. It was gorgeous, stunning even, but... What's the most thrilling game ever? I liked it though. Oh, we're going deeper into the hole, level two. <laughs> I think the main character constantly backseat gaming was really distracting and annoying to me in the game. Like every time there'd be a slight puzzle, she would spoil the answer before you even had a chance to even like move, you know? Oh, look at this puzzle. What if I twisted the uh, the arch in a counterclockwise pattern to maybe solve the answer? It's like, damn it, can I try first? Like, come on, madam. Preserved head. Burdened. Why do I have that large axe? Yeah, uh, Horizon was a fun game. It just, I don't know, it wasn't like super exciting. Anymore. I felt very formulaic, you know, very open world formula. Uh, let's go back this way. Kind of felt like Ubisoft, like, you know, there's exactly three of this thing. There's exactly six of those things. There's exactly five bandit camps. There's five, you know, like the checklist kind of open world. Which I think that I'm just kind of getting a little jaded of the formula a little bit. Someone needs to come her up and like really shake up the open world formula a bit to make it feel a little more exciting and different. Yeah, the radio towers and stuff. It's like, I like, I love those games, like Far Cry and stuff, but once you play the, that formula enough times, they start to become, like, predictable, you know? 
Um, nope. Nope. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Kane will identify him. I forgot he was doing. He will do it for free. <laughs> Oopsie. Ooh, it's hot today. Let me turn on the AC a little bit. You've been slamming out some Diablo 2 lately. Yeah, it's a very fun game. I'm really excited for Diablo 4. Uh, after playing the beta, I was like, yep. Yep, this is the one. This is this is a game I'm gonna enjoy a lot of. I'm excited to like I really wanna get to endgame to see what endgame in Diablo 4 is like. When you have like a full bill and you get the paragon tree. Which looks kind of like the PoE tree. That's where most of the builds are. Is going to be in that tree. Ah. Uh, oops. Oh. I pressed the control and everything changed. Oops. Okay. <laughs> that console UI popped up. That was cool, though. They did a good job with the console uh, controls in this, if you like the console playing with the controller. Okay, so many things. Let's grab all of these. Start leaving some of the loot behind us. So much of it. Okay, I think I cleared the whole, uh, the whole hole. Plays on PS5, very comfortable play on the controller. Yeah. All right, new skill. Let's do. Attack rating slows enemies. Go another level of raise skeletons. And let's go more vitality. Yeah, Clay going very strong. We'll be pumping him up to 20. The slow on him is great. Uh, is this any good? Let's see. Maximum stamina. Eh. Poison resist. Eh. Not the worst in the world. Leather armor. Oh, since I leveled up my skellies, I need to resummon them all again. I'm, I was always weird. It was always weird that wands in this game were just melee weapons. You just beat someone with. <laughs> I'm so glad they decided to make wands ranged weapons later because it didn't make any sense. It's like, I'm, oh, this magic wand. Let me just beat the shit out of you with it. Stabs as well. Also, it's like, what? Didn't they have like an auto attack or something? Yeah.
I gotta get these guys down or they will just keep getting resurrected. Town portal again. Superior wolf head. Does that have spells on it? If it does, it could be worth a bunch. No. Oh well. What's in here? I can't imagine the real estate market here being very good. Because you're like constantly surrounded by demons that can just attack randomly and murder you. In your little peasant house with your peasant weapons. It's hard to sell it to someone around here. Probably be pretty cheap though, knowing that like any moment you could die to a demon invasion. But it's a riverfront property in the valley of imminent death. People are just dying to live here. <laughs> Where are the succubi? Well, we won't be in hell for quite some time. But eventually. Yep, uh, you can toggle between old and new, just at a press of a button. Whoop. To try to get a feeling for how the old game used to be. Is today fun day? No, it's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Oh, that sounds good. I want me some tacos, damn it. Wait a minute, is that the... Nope. Gotta find the Blood Maiden's place. Should be right here somewhere. I feel like it looks a bit different from the original. Um, no, it's running on the original's engine. Oh, we also have a what should we call turned on the Perspective. This is what the original looks like. Not widescreen, full screen. You can see much further away from your character than you could basically because of the widescreen. Perspective uh, was like a trick to make it look a little more 3D than it because the game's actually a 2D game, just like the first game. So the 3D is an illusion. The remaster made it actually have 3D models. Still from the 2D perspective, but see, as you can see, they're in the same place, but they're actually 3D instead of 2D sprites. Black Marsh. It's very cool tech. They weren't kind of, they weren't quite at the point where they could have like proper 3D games yet for a lot of games without it looking kind of like ass.
pure 3D games from this time period don't look as nice. Even like the old version of them kind of look a little dated. Those aren't healing very much anymore. Yeah, that was that's also a thing is the big the more the bigger your game file size, the more CD-ROMs, the more download speed, the more floppy disk in some places like, like if you made your game bigger, you'd have to find more ways to store it. And that increases cost and stuff. Games weren't like huge money makers back in the day yet. They were starting to get to that point, but not quite yet. They were still like more of a hobby, kind of a side project. Make enough money to make another one, you know? They weren't quite mainstream yet. This place reeks of death. Ah, this is the, the, the place where memes go to die. I believe this castle is like a homage to the first game with the many layers of going down into the dungeon. But because they weren't like mainstream, games were done the way the devs wanted them to be. So if they wanted a game to be brutal hard, they would do that. Unfortunately, nowadays it seems like most games are trying to maximize sales, which is good for profit. But also means that they're trying to appeal to everybody. So their games can be kind of easy nowadays. Very guided experiences. Because they're also way more expensive than they ever were. Because back in like this time period, like Blizzard probably what had thirty people, forty, maybe less, maybe more. I can't remember. Teams were kind of small. Nowadays, there's hundreds of devs on big AAA games. They got her. She did. I can't carry anymore. Spite Club. Carry nope. Anymore. Oh God! It's Pentagram again. Run. Okay. Never mind. Their armor skull cap. Ah, eh, might as well sell. It's free. Hello. Thank you, Deckard. Good day. Okay, nope. Nope. Line assist, defense, attacker, strength, defense, cold magic. Eh, it's all. None of them is really great. Two to dexterity. Four to maximum stamina. Extra gold for monsters. None of it's really doing anything for me. Mm -hmm. I gotta repair my wand. They were much nicer in this game about durability. When something breaks, you just repair it. Another one of greed. Dexter doesn't really do anything for me, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Eh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Mm -hmm. 
that's gonna be nothing. Nope. Faster hit recovery. Ugh. All bland. I'm not killing anybody, my minions are. I'm I'm a pacifist. I hire people to do my job for me. Well, not really hire, force them to do it, but you know. Oh, I see a magic monster. Get him, minions. Get him, my minions. Yeah, they're my forced friends. Oh, we're playing with players three. Find players eight a little, a little damage spongy sometimes, especially for minions who don't do a lot of damage at this point. We'll do more later. Players 5 is a sweet spot. Right, we'll try Players 5. Alright, Players 5. Go for it. Start killing them, please. Boom. Another skill. I want another mage. I think we want to keep pumping skeletons. I want to have five skeletons at least. I forgot my wand's broken. Oops. Forgot to repair it. Oopsie. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, <gasps> my the enchanted what? smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. Okay. Please repair all my stuff. Thank you. Let's go a little more strength because we're going to need some more strength in the future to wear stuff. Get ahead of it now. Yeah, a large part of the atmosphere of these old games was the sound design. The sound people and the cutscene people were just gods at what they did. Gods of gaming. The Blizzard cinematic team has always been just insanely good. Every cutscene in this game, amazing. Every song in this game, Amazing. That's a lot of gold. Without the auto pickup, I'd have to pick click on every one of those. <laughs> Yay! What fun! Well, when companies get bought out, the name continues on, but the people leave. So Blizzard now, a lot of the original people that were in Blizzard when they made this game are gone. There's only a handful left that are still there making games. Which is not uncommon when games go, when companies get bought out and they buy, they hire a lot more people. Yeah, I believe, I believe Torchlight was from the original devs of this game. Oh, God! Oh, God, the Countess is creepy. She's got Firewall, too. It's terrible.
Kill her! Oh, they got her. Loot explosion! I got so much loot. I need a loot filter at this point. <laughs> so much Does player increase also increase the loot that drops? Because I'm getting so much damn loot. Uh, F rune weapons minus 25% target defense armor regenerate mana 15%. <gasps> Regeneration. Ugh. Talp of S and two socket armor is best reward ever. That's awesome. Okay, small shield. Uh, there's a dick. No, Dirk. Club. Skull cap. Club. Other armor. I can't carry anymore. Chip diamond. Identify. Identify. Uh can't see anything anymore. All right, let's go back. This is what makes me want to play the game so bad. Good. Good. Get influenced. <laughs> well done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. Kind of alchemy? F rune, put that in there. Those two as well. Sweet energy, nope, nope. It's gonna sell everything. I know, I'm influencing you to play good games. Can you imagine the audacity? Oh, dear God. Forcing you to have fun? I was surprised by uh, Diablo 4. I had a lot more fun with it than I thought I was going to. It was a lot of fun for me. I feel like that was the reaction of a lot of people is that it was much better than I thought it was going to be. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's go back to the surface. We'll use the camp. Um, let's go back to the Black Marsh. <laughs> Their development plan for Diablo 4 sounds really cool, too. They're going to add a new main quest with every season and then a big expansion every year, too. And they can keep the quality level up and keep adding classes and stuff that people want to play. I sense good things about the game in the future. I don't see my minions anymore. Uh, did I press a button to hide my minions? Ally display. Um, I don't see my minions anymore in my bar. Oh, Z, thank you. Thank you, chat. I'm missing my wizard. I mean, my mage who's very okay right now. Oh. 
I wish they could, you could, instead of having lots of little mages, you could have a few that cast AOE spells. That would be... Huh. They buffed the mages in 1. Um, 2.4, I think. I don't know if there was enough, but... The remaster actually has been buffing and changing spells and stuff to help make more builds. Large charm. Life and mana. Eh. Me. The pit. Uh, we're using uh, ray skeletons. Ray's golem. Ray's uh, skeletal mage. And now amplify damage as well. I have 69 mana. Nice. Grab that ring there. Nice. Very nice. Strangling Gas Potion. Enchiladas give me that potion for free. Oh, another rare. Get her down. Let's go. Five skeletons, hell yeah. have to sit here and they do all the work. It's great. And more vitality, of course. Just go passively. I can passively pick up loot. It's like a mobile game. It plays for me. Scepter. That has spells on it. It could be worth a lot. It does not. Nope. Nope. Might just be at that point. Just don't pick up blues. It's like, eh. I want to see some genre bending games. I would like to see them make a Souls like, a uh, Survivors like Diablo. A turn based strategy Diablo. Where you have turn based combat. And you control multiple heroes at one time. That could be fun. Yeah, genre bending games could be, but like, you know how they took Halo and made an RTS? Stuff like that, where you take existing IPs and like change how they play. Not Diablo Kart, okay? <laughs> oh, unless, <laughs> maybe <laughs> that could be fun. Diablo Kart, yes.
Ooh, Sim Diablo, where you build a beautiful city of hell. Very hellish city for your demons. You got capture souls to give you demonic power. So many minions! Minions aren't dying, they also aren't killing stuff very quickly. <laughs> oh, come on, AoE, please. I know, but I have to get some corpse explosion. It'll have to be at least two levels, though. Gotta get two first. Kill, please. I mean, maybe it's doing work. It's not quite fast enough. Oh, Goatman Simulator, to make fun of Goat Simulator. Play as a Diablo Goatman. Diablo Tetris, where they drop loot and you gotta, and you gotta Tetris the loot as it's falling to make it connect and then you sell it for gold and then you can buy bag expansion. I just made them a million dollars. Do you even have a DLC where you enable um, Resident Evil 4 version? Scimitar. That's a... Ooh. Is that a unique item? Blood Crescent. Fast attack speed, enhanced damage, life storm per hit, uh, chance open wounds, plus life, plus resistances. Yeah, I need to. We're gonna, we're gonna dip into corpse explosion now because Daddy needs to make things go boom. Right now we're just sort of passively just like waiting, but I need stuff to go to be dead. So a little corpse explosion, our AOE will be much, much, much better. We'll go back and grab more stuff in a minute. 